for me to, to go. And it was so magic. And when I came to Fitzroy Crossing, the nine elders from the different tribes that Eric had took their human remains from, they were all sitting there waiting for me, just looking at me. And I felt they were looking into my soul. It was the strongest moment of my life. And I'm so happy I, I, I met them. And when I, I just started to cry. And I just said, I hadn't planned anything, but I just cried and said I was so sorry. And they were all trying to uh, comfort me, and saying, oh, don't be, don't be sad. We, we'll, do, we'll do this together. Don't worry, everything will be fine. The clock at the clock had gone. He felt no good in the head, and his son drowned in the water. And to me, I feel sad for his family. It's a, it's a lot his family. And I will start praying for um, Sweden and the family then there for that man. And I cry inside in my heart. But the good thing about all this is that the Swedish government has decided to give those things back. And that's a more concern to the Aboriginal people over here than what happened in the first place. If you do something wrong and then you right it by doing the, the right thing, there's no animosity after that. As Minister of Culture, I'm not comfortable knowing that uh, people from Sweden went to other parts of the world 100 years, 200 years ago, collected human remains and took them back here and that we still have them in our museums, some of them at least. And we find those collections barbaric. With the return home of these 13 separate remains in the hands of their descendants, a link is restored. I feel like uh, this is a closure and I'm happy to be a, a little, little, little part in, in getting it all right again. Thank you. Yeah. 
higher the spirit you have, the more you teach the one below you. So they all reach the same level. When nature is so generous, the material demands are so small, what they actually do most of the time is teach themselves and others about spirituality. I'm sure you would like to be there when they meet and talk about spirituality. I would love to. Ara 